obviously the Steelers uh, go with their defense. TJ Watt, you know, it's funny. I didn't know this. That was TJ Watt's first career touchdown, I thought. But maybe I was thinking about JJ Watt. JJ had a lot of touchdowns, but I didn't know that was TJ's only touchdown. But uh, they beat the their defense was the reason why they beat the Browns. Uh, Deshaun Watson does not look good. Uh, Nick Chubb suffered that gruesome injury. So, uh, but let's start off with the Steelers. Can the D- Steelers defense? Because we already know what Kenny Pickett can and can do. Can the defense carry them to the playoffs? Remember, this isn't a uh, promo. This is just a quick response. Uh, so, Gilbert, I'm going to start off with you. Uh, I guess they can. It's a good defense. But, man, Kenny Pickett, I, I'm a sucker for buying into the preseason hype. He, he cannot make plays. He's a little skittish out there. Uh, luckily, he has George Pickens and makes the plays out there. Uh, Najee Harris can't make plays either. So, uh, Gosh. I'm say, yeah, I, I'm going to say no. It's a good defense, but I'm going to say no. Uh, Vic? I'm going to say yes, just because the AFC doesn't look as good as we thought it was going to be, guys. I was expecting a lot better play from a lot of these teams in the AFC. And honestly, there hasn't been good play so far. Um, So I'm going to say, hey, if you have a good defense, if they can stay healthy on defense, and then if they can get anything out of Kenny Pickett, uh, Najee Harris, Warren, any of those guys, I think they can make a push for the playoffs, especially now with the Jets. Aaron Rodgers being hurt. Uh, I had the Browns making the playoffs, but as you talked about, Fernando, with the whole Deshaun Watson thing, how how soon, you know, we'll get to it. How soon are they going to give up on him? So no, I, I I I think I think the Steelers are with that defense. They can make the playoffs. Uh, Dan, I don't think they can because when I went to sleep, the Browns were up, and I saw this morning. Uh, I guess it was like a sack fumble, right? That yep. was the score. Defense is not going to be able to win you game scoring every single time. You got to be able to put up some points and move the ball. So especially, you know, if the defense, it, think about this too, also defense, you know, if the offense goes three and out and the defense is on, you know, a, a significantly larger amount of snaps per game, they're going to be worn down by the time the season's over. So I'm going to go with no. So here's the video of Michael Thomas and Derek Brown going. <laughs> Oh wow! Dang. Oh wow! Where's the security? Ooh. Oh wow! No, where are the coaches? <laughs> They're just letting them go like nothing. Why did you hear not, somebody say? Not even you, seen this. That's how terrible this game was. I did not even hear about this. Yeah. Can you hear? Yeah. Can you, did you hear somebody ask the guy recording? Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, put it on TikTok. But uh, up, dude. but going back to the Steelers, I, I just think there's only so much you can do. And then I think Minka Fitzpatrick got hurt yesterday. There's some other people that got hurt on that team. Uh, by the way, Joey Porter Jr., that was a good play. I was kind of mad at Deshaun Watson. Throw it up there and give the guy a chance. Like, why are you – like, it's four down. Like, why are you throwing it out of bounds? Like, it's not like – You don't think it was a DPI, though? Do you think it looked like a DPI? At, at the end of the game, I, I hate when referees decide the game. I thought that was a good no call. I mean, I thought it was a good play by him. I don't know if his dad is still the linebackers coach there because I saw somebody running up to him so. and clapping him. But then ESPN didn't announce that his dad was there, so he must not be on the staff. But uh, but yeah, I don't want the refs to throw the flag and to move the ball and everything. So I was it's only when the it. Chiefs are in the Super Bowl for Atlanta, please. <laughs> please. Hey, they've been calling your boy Jawan Taylor for a false start. Okay, he got benched. Yeah, I was going to say, he supposedly got benched. Yeah, wow. Yeah, but, all that money uh, and now more, he's on the bench. More. But I, I just thought it was uh, – I just thought it was uh, – I, I just thought it was I, – I don't think that they can do it. So I'm not a big fan of uh, of Kenny Pickett either. And then Deontay Johnson's now out for a while. Yeah. Like, it, the, George Pickens is going to get double teamed and, and they're going to do all that. So, no, I don't think the Steelers can ride to it. My question is, after the season, though, if they don't make the playoffs – what is the future of Mike Tomlin? Uh, so I'm interested what to see. What is the future what... of Kenny Pickett? Well, uh, here, well, yeah, but you have to start with the head coach. I mean, the head coach could be gone, and I don't I think, think you have three or four straight losing season. I think he'll be fine. Uh, well, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> 